you are welcome to yet another episode of HN What's Your Say? The number one listening show where we discuss real issues with real people like you. We are still featuring R. Kelly. Real name Robert Sylvester Kelly. Also known as the R&B King. It looks like Andrea Lee Kelly, who is also R. Kelly's ex-wife, and Lisa Van Allen were not the only ones faking it when they took part in the infamous Surviving R. Kelly docuseries. The latest information coming in suggests that Geronda Pace, commonly known as JP was not being truthful either when she took to the show and said all the wrong things about R. Kelly, a story she maintained even in the New York trial court, and that she intends to carry forward to the Chicago State Court in case prosecution decides to proceed with the charges. It turns out JP did have a friend by the name Kiana who she trusted with her secrets then, and with whom they made their first appearances at R. Kelly's mansion. However Kiana does not share the spirit of deceit with Geronda Pace, and was more than willing to tell all during the New York trial, only that R. Kelly's legal team then did not consider her a potential defense witness. Kiana's latest revelations of what truly happened with her friend JP while at the R. Kelly mansion are quite shocking and disturbing, considering she has been one of R. Kelly's top accusers, who claims the singer did numerous gruesome things to her. According to Kiana, their first appearance with Geronda Pace at R. Kelly's mansion, was to attend a house party on the invite of Geronda's boyfriend then who goes by the nickname Bubba. Kiana says Bubba was the one involved with JP and not R. Kelly, and that the two did have access to R. Kelly's mansion even in his absence when he was on tour, keeping in mind that Kelly trusted Bubba enough to allow him into his home anytime. Kiana adds that Bubba is the one who helped Geronda gain access to R. Kelly's bedroom where she took pictures of herself as evidence of her presence there, and the two did plan the blackmail together. It is said that whenever their blackmail schemes fetched a payout from R. Kelly, the two, JP and Bubba shared the spoils. At one time, Bubba is said to have received a cut of US dollars 4,000 from Geronda settlement money for his role in the game of cards, and that this is on record. The two plotted to extort the R&B king with claims against him, yet it was Bubba she was actually messing with all along. It looks like whenever R. Kelly was out on tour, the two lovebirds turned his home into a guest lodge and honeymooned in his bedroom, taking pictures that placed the alleged survivor in the house, and together plotting against the R&B king. It is said that Geronda threatened to sue R. Kelly several times, negotiating settlements with the help of their shoddy attorney Susan Logan who swindled most of it attracting another lawsuit by JP, this time against her own attorney. According to reports, Susan Loggins had turned herself into the settlement factory for anyone who was willing to file a lawsuit against R. Kelly, and with McDavid's misleading advice, Kelly fell victim to this ugly con game. It turns out McDavid and Susan Loggins had been to the same high school, and were therefore able to team up in conspiracy against Kelly. There are indeed several pictures online that show Geronda Pace following R. Kelly outside the 2008 courthouse when he was on trial, throwing herself onto him, and trying as much as possible to get his attention. These images are said to have been part of a setup plan by the very journalist who had put Robert in that situation. He wanted R. Kelly to get involved with her and use this as new evidence against him, considering the ongoing 2008 case was headed towards an R. Kelly victory. The good news is that this did not work, and R. Kelly vehemently denies ever getting involved with JP in that way. It was Bubba her boyfriend that did get involved with her instead. Another important fact to note is that Geronda Pace was never happy with her malicious ways, and that she did try her level best to make peace with R. Kelly after the first settlement, with hope that she would be forgiven, going as far as returning some of the money she had wrongfully charged him. There is no way a real survivor would be begging to return settlement money to the alleged abuser, unless they know well it was all a game and they are ashamed of their actions. Also in a video confession, Geronda Pace is heard say she was involved with Dominic, another live-in at R. Kelly's house, and that she has her name tattooed on her body. This tattoo was however done by Bubba who had a tattoo shop. He literally planned it all out for JP how she was going to deal with R. Kelly and make sure they made money off his sweat. It is unfortunate to learn that while hardworking people like R. Kelly spend most of their time doing an honest job and making the money, there is another group of people who take pleasure in extorting the hand workers, and taking what rightfully belongs to them for nothing. This is a perfect revelation that not everything said about R. Kelly is true, 
and that the people who claimed to be his survivors in the real sense never needed to survive him. They however choose to concoct claims against him for the purpose of monetary gain, without knowing that by doing this, they are serving a bigger power they know nothing of, whose sole interest is to see R. Kelly remain in prison, so that they don't have to pay what they owe him. The good news however is that this Gerondas friend Kiana has all along been willing to testify against JP, but was never given a chance. This opportunity she may get as the defense addresses the state charges against Robert if the prosecutors choose to go ahead with the state case anyway. According to Tia's Blunt, there are certain stories that should never have even made it to trial if we had a proper judicial system, but because our judiciary is filled with crooked ideologies from corrupt officials, here we are today listening in on such testimonies aimed at crippling the R&B king. What hurts the most is the fact that a number of these people do not even qualify as credible witnesses in court, considering they have lied under oath before, or that they were involved with crooked attorney Susan Loggins, who could have talked them into the extortion game. According to Rosa Fletchy, these people have made many false accusations against R. Kelly. Indeed, it's about time some people sued them back. R. Kelly did have a lot of haters around him including his own friends who would invite such persons to his house only to cause trouble. I am still praying for him and like you say, God indeed does see everything and everybody. No one can escape him. From R. Kelly's experience I learned that it's indeed hard to find someone you can trust. It's also interesting to learn what people will do to you for the love of money when you think they are your friends. How someone you trust will bring in a woman to tempt you, and take pictures of you lying on your bed just to trap you makes me sick. I will be waiting to listen to the song R. Kelly will release about this trials and tribulations. That is all we had for you today on HN What's Your Say? To keep updated whenever we post a new video, subscribe to this channel now. Also remember to hit the bell icon and enable notifications. And feel free to share your opinions with us in the comment section below, and let us know if you would like us to publish your views in our next release. We value all our subscribers' opinions.